In this video, we'll be going over Okinawa, the Hawaii of Japan. So if you've ever been to Japan, you often know that a lot of, if you spend some time there and got to know some of the people, you know that a lot of locals will spend their holidays or their summers or winters, generally the winters they'll go down because it's warmer, they'll go down to South Japan and they might go to Okinawa. Okinawa is probably a $50 to $100 flight from Tokyo. And I want to say it's two to four hours. Um, it's not too long of a flight, it's not too far away. Japan obviously is a smaller place in general, even though it has a lot of people. It has almost the same population as Russia, but it is drastically smaller. Um, but in Okinawa, Okinawa, I spent two years there just about. There's so much to do. I could probably make 50 videos about Okinawa. And maybe I'll make a few videos about, them, uh, about it here and there. But if you want me to, just comment in the comment box and I'll make some more videos about that. Okinawa was a really cool place. Um, they have, I think, the world's first, second, or third biggest aquarium in the world. They have some of the best food ever. It's so good. Um, it's a little biased, but I mean, their food is super, super good. They have, you know, beautiful white sandy beaches, beautiful coral reefs to go to. I lived on this little island and it's kind of a peanut shaped Aishima and just off the north end of it we I learned how to dive over there and I learned how to dive by this piece of brain coral and the guy that I was diving with said it was the world's biggest piece of brain coral. I don't know if it was, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but this piece of brain coral was probably three times the size of my apartment. It was huge. It was like two, two or three buses, two or three buses big, like big buses. It was huge, huge piece of brain coral. Um, it was really cool diving and, and snorkeling and spearfishing out there. We would go fishing, we would go surfing. The people are really chill. It just feels like really islander. People are really friendly. It's just a super relaxing, beautiful place to spend, you know, a week there or two weeks. I was just fortunate enough to spend two years there. Um, I did spend time doing trips in other places like going up to mainland Japan, living on a different little island and whatnot. Um, but I mean, the culture there was really beautiful. The people there were really chill. The Okinawan people actually aren't, they're Japanese, but like Okinawa was taken over by mainland Japan in the past few hundred years, I believe so, beforehand. It was kind of its own independent place. And then it became a part of Japan, Japan. I think China was fighting over it for a while. I think still not fighting over it. Um, I know we had World War II there. Actually, on a lot of the beaches, you could find old World War II you know, bullets. A lot of the time in the field, we'd find um, old unexploded ordnance from World War II. I actually found a few grenades in a cave, not a cave, in a, um, in a tunnel system on one of the smaller islands. Actually, on mainland Okinawa, there's huge tunnels. And you can take a tour of these tunnels. You go, you know, a few stories underground and there's just miles and miles of these tunnels underground. I'm pretty sure they made them bigger so that tourists can go through and whatnot, but they definitely have, you know, the remnants of all these super cool tunnels throughout Japan that are remnants of World War II. And even in Vietnam and Cambodia, they had a lot of, uh, a lot of tunnels and different systems. But definitely a place I would go check out. I'm actually going to go back there here in the spring and go there for a week or two, visit some old friends, um, just relax, enjoy the beaches, you know, see some, uh, see some cool, cool snorkeling, maybe go do some diving and whatnot. But um, anyway, that's, that's the Hawaii of Japan, Okinawa. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, just like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos about Japan and traveling. And hit that bell icon and you'll be posted to be notified every single time that a video posts. All right, guys, I know I talk kind of fast. I'm trying to slow that down so I'm more clear to understand, but this has been NST, Never Stop Traveling. Peace out.